never know when it starts. I know, right? It's just been. Hmm. Is that good enough? You need it Here we go. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Saturday's Girlfriends Just Want to Have Fun. And Guy Friends, too. Yep. I'm Elisa. In I'm case you don't know. Right. Yep. So I, think we all know. I hope you guys all know who I am. And if you don't, you're about to. So, hi everybody! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, say something in the comments. We're gonna have a really fun time tonight uh, or today, and um, we are gonna do some really, really cool things. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, I want to do some recognition. So, first thing I want to say is way to go, Noel and Karen, because they both did all of the challenges. Mm -hmm. So every week I've been putting out a challenge and they have done every single one of them. So way to go. I have a little something special for you, but I'm not going to tell you what. <laughs> and then um, I also want to really um, say thank you. We have had four consultants consistently jump on here. And uh, that is Karen Barron and Deb, our newest, yay Deb, and Karen Searles and Karina again, again. So, yay! So good job, Karen good job. Hi. hi, Karen, and good job. I'm just, I'm really proud of you guys for jumping on. And I know today, uh, Carrie Davis is jumping on too. So super happy to have all you guys running with me and uh, and enjoying the girlfriends. Just want to have fun. So there you go. Uh, I'm looking to see what else I want to talk about before we get started. Do you want to preview what we're going to do today? Yes, after I after, you go over after I stuff. go over my other stuff. So, um, and this is everybody. All these four pages, not that. These there's four pages of people who watched all of June's videos. So, wow, that's pretty good. I know, I'm really excited. These we, are all individual people, like different um, people. Well, no, like some, you know, repeats. these are repeats because oh, you get yeah. you get entered every time you watch one of the videos, whether it's um, the, you know, the whichever day it is. If you watch every single one through the whole month, that's four entries. If, not five, four. If you do the um, the challenges, the, the challenges that I give each week, then you get another one. So um, we had 98 entries. That's pretty good. And we're going to do something different since we had so many. We're going to, uh, and it's on my phone already, so Steve just has to hit go. We're going to use the random number generator, and we're going to have it uh, generate a number. And whoever's number that is today so those is... Those are the entries. These, yeah, those are, yeah. Uh, so we pick a random number. On yeah, and they're all numbered. Gotcha. And then you just, then you just pick one. Picking up what you're... Putting down. You're picking so, up what I'm putting down? Good. Yay. So, anyway, hopefully you caught the one from last week. We were in Enid, Oklahoma, and we had a really fun time uh, recording that one. So, Talking that... Talking about the travel... Travel product. stuff. Yeah. So all the travel... Things. Those, yep. All the travel stuff. Um, and then um, this week, I thought it'd be really fun to teach you guys a little bit about our fragrances because people don't even know half the time that we have fragrances and so um, this week I thought I would go over the women's fragrances and then next week we'll go over the men's fragrance and maybe teach you a little bit about how perfume, perfume works because a lot of people don't know how that works sound good I thought you just put it on and it works. you just put it on it smells good and it yeah. works so, and I'm going to so teach, science behind it. there's science, I know there's, there's lots of science. <laughs> you know me, you guys who know me know I love the science in Mary Kay. So, so yes, there's science behind it. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So, okay. So, let's get started. So, the first one, and Steve is going to be my Vanna today. So, I go like. Yes, you go, this is so pretty. No, you don't. I have to turn letters. So, you have to, no letters. No. You just need to grab the product. Okay. So the first one yeah. is Cityscape. Well, we're going to get started. We're going to get started. Oh, um, there it is. There it is. I'm really organized today, yeah, you like guys. You have a plan. I have a plan. Okay. So you can showcase that. All right. That, this is our Cityscape perfume. 
And the first thing, well, the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, the top, uh, the notes in a fragrance. All right. So, and you can pull the top off. It's really cool. Show everybody how it works. It's really, we, we have some neat packaging. So it pops up and then it pops back on. So. Please try everyone. Um, well, they can't smell it. We don't have smell-o-vision. Oh, okay. I wish we had smell-o-vision. <laughs> but we may try a couple on because I'm going to show something. And I'll even show it on Steve because it works on men too. Okay. So something that to learn about um, perfumes is there is a top note, a middle note, and a bottom note. Okay. I should have asked you guys to tell me if you knew that. So they're all like harmonies. They're harmonies. Yeah, they all work together. And the top note is the initial impact of the fragrance. So um, so it will introduce the fragrance while you put it on. It lasts about 15 minutes. And so when you put on perfume and you just immediately get that smell, that's the top note. All right. So when so I'm going to be telling you what each perfume's notes are. Okay. Okay. The second middle note, that's the heart of the fragrance. So it kind of unfolds and it develops after a few minutes after you put the, uh, the perfume on your skin. And then it, they come out after those top notes have kind of wafted away and they can stay on through the whole time you have your perfume. So you always have the middle notes there until toward the very end. And that's the, bottom note and that's the ones that's most lasting um, and it can last several hours after the fragrance is applied so the top note you just smell it it's kind of the yummy stuff that you smell the middle note is the after the top note kind of floats away you get the middle note and then after it goes away you get the bottom note so connie says hi. hi connie connie's on too yay connie i'm glad you're on we're, um, we're actually going to do the drawing for everybody who watched the last month too. So, so, um, so the ingredients, the combination of the ingredients, it not only determines how the fragrance smells, okay, but it also determines the staying power on the skin. Okay. Okay. And so there's different ingredients that come into play at the various stages of what's called the life of the perfume while it's on your skin. Hi, Carrie. Yay, Carrie found us too. So um, that's why perfumers who develop the perfume, they have the top note, middle note, and bottom note. Okay. So the first one, yes. Oops, I got a question. Yeah. So does perfume smell exactly the same on all wearers or does body chemistry cause slight changes from person to person? That is a great, great, great question. So it, it perfumes react differently to the different body chemistries. Okay. Um, almost like our pH lip balm does how it reacts to your pH. The perfumes will react to different body chemistries. And at the very end, because I don't want to do it now, I'm going to show you a kind of bizarre way, but cool way to test perfume. If you're not sure it mixes with your chemistry. And uh, this actually a perfumer who, someone who develops perfumes taught me this years ago. And I was like, really? This really works? And we did it. I was like, oh my goodness, it works. So, so, and that's why I want to try one on you and one on me, two okay. different ones. Because I know which ones I love and work really well with me. So, okay, back to Cityscape. Um, the person who developed this perfume for us said it was inspired by the uh, beauty of the Phantomina Orchid. It is the ultimate signal of sophistication since you can only appreciate its beauty in a specific moment during the night. So this orchid only blooms one time during the night. So this is like, so this is cityscape. Okay, top notes. Okay, the, the first notes that you smell is bergamot, pink pepper, red currant, apricot, and violet leaves. Right? Sort of and then the middle notes has that phantomina orchid scent. Orange flower, absolute, which is the, you know, peony, and Florentine orris, which is a kind of flower. So that's the middle that stays with you. And then the bottom note is sandal, sandalwood, damascen plum, sustainable 
vanilla beans from Madagascar, Angelica, and Amber. So, you want to smell it? Um, yeah. I mean, you well, don't have to spray it if you want, but you can just smell it from the... Right, you might have I, to spray it. I did. Uh-huh. What do you think? Uh, I don't think I'm getting much from it. We'll spray it out then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So... I wish you guys, I wish we had smell vision I couldn't tell you what was in it by smelling it, but it is. It does smell really good. It smells good. So here's another little fun fact. Did you know that when you put on your scents, it rises? Now, you've seen a lot of people step out, like spray it and step into it. You can do that, or you can actually spray your ankles on up. And, you know, the back of your knees is where it's warming, the wrists. Mm -hmm. Uh, the back of your neck, behind your ears. So just a, something to know when you put on your fragrance. Did you know that? You're quite the connoisseur. Ah, you didn't know I knew that much about perfume, did you? <laughs> All right, we're going to go on to number two. Forever okay. Diamonds. Forever okay. Diamonds. This one's wonderful. All right. There it is. So the perfumer at Mary Kay that developed this said, I wanted to create a fragrance which celebrates all the special moments in a woman's lives. Forever Diamonds opens with a joyful and bright elegance while its heart revolves around a banquet of tuberose, a feminine floral loved all around the world. A warm background finishes this fragrance with a breathtaking feeling and the woman who wears this should feel ex uh, exquisite and radiant and cap captivating. Um, you know, and, and, uh, that was, uh, Rodrigo Flores Raru, and he is the one who created this for us. Okay. So, and, and then I love this whole quote. It says, memories are made of moments that shine forever like diamonds, the joy of new beginnings, the laughter shared those times when your every wish came true. There are so many brilliant moments to remember and so many more to come forever. Diamonds is for the woman who embraces life and lets herself sparkle. With it. Sounds like you. Oh, Aww, thanks, baby. So, um, okay. So, this one starts with the top notes, the opening notes is sparkling golden peach. You know how I love peaches. It also has delicate jasmine petals and the ex exuberant diamond orchid. So, it's got orchid in it. The middle note is the heart of the freshness of tuberose, ab tuberose absolute, and then heliotrope, and then delicious apricot surprise and delight. Ooh. Yeah, apricot, I like apricots too. And then the bottom note is vanilla bean and white warm amber. And so that, those are the main ingredients. So if you like any of those scents, then Forever Diamonds is the scent for you. Yes, smell that. Smells good. Huh? Mm. <laughs> this is so much fun sharing it with you guys. All right, our next one is Valera. And Valera is says it's perfectly balanced, sheer fragrance that fits the perfectly balanced woman. Top notes like uh, San Joaquin Fig. Joaquin fig, wild, thank you, bil bilberry, and opal lotus flower are perfectly accented by wild southern Indian tuberose, milky sandalwood, and cotton musk. So that's the, it's a more of a musky floral. So if you like musky scents, that's a really good one for you guys. And uh, so the top, San Joaquin fig, wild bilberry, opal lotus, and I don't know how to say that, but it's another flower. Petisporum. Petisporum blossoms. Look that one up, okay? The middle is the stargazer lily, southern Indian tuberose, snowdrop flower, which those are beautiful, chamomile petal, so you know what chamomile smells like, golden... Uh, Acacia? He's helping me. Acacia blossoms, and then the bottom is white polar bark, milky sandalwood and cotton musk. So it's got a real musky floral to it, but it's not heavy musky. It's really, really nice. Okay. 
All right, we're moving right along, baby. Did you show everybody? Yeah. Did, did you did you do the? I did, I did explore it. Did you do the van? Okay, but no, that's not the right one. It's the other Bel Air. Oh, uh, I got the wrong one. Yeah. There's more than one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's more than one. Me. See, he's learning a lot. There we go. That one, is the one Bolero. we just talked about. That's the one we just talked about. It's a beautiful it's blue, blue bottle. bottle. It starts light and goes all the way up to a dark color, and it smells great. So now you can smell it. Dog. That's also called a Bella. This one, the next one we're going to talk about is Bella Valera. Well, now I can see why I got confused. Yes. We don't dress mm. rehearse on this. I hope you guys know this. We just kind of, I put it together. And he comes along for the ride. I think all these are wonderful. Do you like that one? I like that one too. Okay, this one is Bella Bellera. So we came out with Bella with Bellera, and then we came out with Bella Bellera. And I'm just going to tell you, um, it says, feel beautiful, be beautiful, Bella Bellera. Uh, the Eau du Parfum is more than a fragrance. It's a beautiful feeling. So the top note is mandarin, strawberry leaves, nectarine, apricot, and cassius. The middle is rose petals, freesia, lily of the valley, yang, and jasmine. And the bottom notes is blonde woods, sandalwoods, velveteer, moss, and tolu balsam. So that's a real woodsy, florally, fruity fragrance. Something like that. Finishing notes tend to be a little more earthy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So um, it's that one I really like a lot. That's one of my favorite ones. So, and then again, just remember you can spray all over your body. Now, one thing to remember when you do that, I'm going to teach you a little something. What's that? You have to shake it or something? No, you don't have to shake it. Don't shake it. But when you spray <laughs> it on your wrists, you've seen people do this or this. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're bruising the fragrance when you do that. You can maybe, you can tap, okay? But don't don't rub friction on it because it really does, it'll damage the different fragrance that um, the different ingredients that you've sprayed onto yourself. So you just let it, you, at best to just spray it and just let it naturally dry. So how many of you guys knew that? Is that new information? Everybody, raise your hand. Raise your hands. Whenever, raise your hands. I, would, I, I wish we had. I wish we could raise your hands. You know what? Just say yes. I knew that. Or ooh, that was cool. And we'll know in thirty seconds. Yeah, yeah, because there's a lag. <laughs> so, okay, you ready for the next one? I am. I hope you guys are having fun. I really had fun putting this together. Yeah, make sure we get the right one this time. All right. Yes, there's two of these in the same bottle. This is the pink one. Okay. We're doing thinking of love first. Oh, isn't that one cute? Okay. This one is fun. And it, oh, look, show them the little, it comes with a little heart charm on, on the side. Isn't that cute? Okay. Falling in love is the inspiration for this fragrance's opening. Being in love is the inspiration for the heart of the fragrance. Oh. And living in love is the inspiration for the base of this fragrance. How adorable. Isn't that cool? Um, oh, got another tip for you too. Always wear your... Um, Moisturize or your fragrances on moisturized skin. On dry skin, it'll absorb fast and it won't solely release. All right. So always make sure you've moisturized before you put your fragrances on. And if you happen to have, like, um, when we usually come out with a fragrance, like the Thinking of Love, when we first came out with it, we also had a, bo a body wash and we also had a body lotion. And you can layer it. And when you layer the fragrance, it will last a lot longer on your body, too. Yeah. yeah. So, thinking of love. And then I'm going to read you what the, the top note is. Soft and creamy vanilla, Madagascar, rich iris, velvety musk, and Indonesian sandalwood. So, that's the one that you first smell. Then the middle note is Turkish rose petals, rose damascian. Textural osmathus, which is another flower, French violet, and pink honeysuckle. And then the last base notes that stay the longest, the bottom notes, is sunny citrus, sparkling mandarin, bay rose, and spring freesia. So that's the one that stays with you. So, I like the sound of that. Yeah. 
And then also, you know, I was telling you to put it on your wrists and behind your ankles and behind your knees and back. That's also where you're warmest in your whole body. So did you know that? See, I like that one too. Mm. It even smells pink. It smells pink. <laughs> did you <laughs> ever think? I didn't know that pink had a smell. Yeah, now you do. Yeah. yeah. All right. On to the next one. This one's one of my favorites. Okay. There's two in our in our line that I just absolutely love. And this is one of them. This is the Thinking of You. Thinking of You perfume. And this one comes in a really cool box. It's also got the little it's got a little, yeah, little heart on it, a little different heart. And it comes in a box where you can open the box up and actually write. Actually, both of the thinking of love and thinking of you, you can open the box. There's a place to write a note and then close the box. So when someone opens the box, they see the note that you've written. Unless you buy it for yourself, then just write yourself a note and put it back. <laughs> oh, you make a great gift. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'll do. So, and this is, it says, every woman knows that relationships make life more meaningful and complete. So tell someone how much they mean to you with the gift of thinking of you. And because there's no time like the present to turn the moment into a memory. So, and let's see, the top notes is sparkly mandarin. Maybe that's why I love it because I love all things orange. I love that orangey smell. Succulent white peach, another thing I love, and juicy plum. The middle notes, inspired by the power of love, family, and joy of friendships, include creamy jasmine, pink honeysuckle, and lily of the valley. And the bottom notes are warm tonka vanilla absolute, sugared patchouli, soft musk, and so that rounds out all the scents. So, um, very warm. Yeah, it smells good, huh? I'm looking to see if there's anything else that. So it's more of a fruity it floral. Smells sweet. It smells, it smells like something delicious. Almost like a um, like a pie almost, but not that sweet. Yeah. It smells like. But this, it has that kind of warm. Sense. Yeah, doesn't smell good. So, alrighty, next one. The next one is called, and this is my other favorite go-to perfume, just so you know. Close your eyes, make a wish, and in an instant be transported to a faraway place, a fairy tale fantasy where enchantment is all around you, a truly magical world where dreams are born and wishes do come true. This is Enchanted Wish, and um, it's just uh, the perfumer who created it said there is something special about the power of imagination and the way it transports us far, far, far away. Thanks, babe. Hold on. A little pop. Distracting us. And there we go. Far, far away. I wanted to create a fragrance for women that would awaken their dreams and bring enchantment to the every, every day, which is probably why I love it so much too, because I'm a big dreamer. I do a lot of affirmations. I have huge goals. And this perfume just makes me feel like I can conquer the world. It's wonderful. It's kind of like a crown. Yeah. Isn't it pretty? Okay. So the top note is, and again, I love Granny Smith apple smell. So I guess, you know, I guess there's a reason I love these. Granny Smith apple, orange oil, Brazil, and white pineapple intertwined with candied petals. The middle or the heart is unlike a fairy tale, unfolding like a fairy tale. Stargazer Lily awakens a sense of wonder and re release, the, releases the magic all around you. Release them. And then it also has Stargazer Lily, Peony, fresh ozone, and passion fruit. And then the bottom note, which is a wish come true, is brown sugar. Enchants and delights with a warm finish that tells you your wish is on its way. It has brown sugar, warm amber, and illuminating musk. It smells a little, uh, a little more floral. Yeah, it's more florally, and um, I 
absolutely, absolutely love. That's my one, my favorite. So when we do the experiment at the end, we'll talk about it. So when you, again, we're going to talk about when you put it on, don't spray it like right there. Don't put it against your, let it mist because then it can settle into your skin and then it can start, um, evaporating. And if your air, when you spray it on you, if you feel like it's wet, you're holding it too close. And, um, once you spray it, sometimes it takes a few minutes before the notes start to release. So don't, you know, and if you're like me, I know immediately when I put something on, whether I like it or not. So, okay. Okay. This is one of my other favorites. It's called Live Fearlessly. It's our, one of our new ones. Every day you show the world how fearless you are. Doing a good job. There you go. I got, I think I got it. <laughs> you got the hand. <laughs> <laughs> Confidently embracing life and all its possibilities. Always staying true to yourself and what you believe in. Celebrate your fearlessness and see the beauty in your strength. Tell your story. So that is Live Fearlessly. And the perfumer, there's two of them actually to this one, Natasha Cole and Linda Song. We wanted to create a bold and feminine fragrance for an outgoing woman who is not afraid to make a statement. We believe confidence is truly what makes a woman feel beautiful inside and out. Okay. So it's a floral woody and the start is so cute because it, because Mary Kate gives us these words, which is really helpful. It says a confident start, prepare for everything that the day might bring with the freshness of Italian bergamot and entalizing spice of ginger. Energizing. Energizing. Italian bergamot, ginger, and lush petals is the top notes. That's the first thing you're going to smell. The feminine spin, or the second note, the middle note, capture your intense femininity with a striking, beautiful, and clear bouquet of bold rose, lily of the valley, and orchid. So those are the middle note. And the bottom note, which is a fearless finish, dare to be who you are with a soft, Halo of woods, warmth, and the caramel notes of roasted tonky bean, tonka bean. So it's got sustainable roasted tonka bean, cedar wood, Australian sandalwood, and vanilla musk. Mm. So that, you know, that's nothing about Mary Kay. With, if we're using an ingredient that might be a little rare, we only buy from um, countries because, you know, a lot of these come from other, the pieces come from other pot countries. So when I say sustainable roasted tonka bean, that's from a farm that is actually set up. It sustains it. Um, it's not, um, how do I want to say that? You're, you're not in the chance that you're hurting the environment. They are taking care of the environment, which is pretty cool with Mary Kay. Then what they do is they bring it here. We have a huge research and development area where this is all um, put together and they test it on people. And what they do then is it's packaged. They figured it out it's packaged there. So everything you buy from Mary Kay in the U.S. is made in the U.S. So that's pretty darn cool because when you think about it, not only are you supporting your consultant in Mary Kay, but you're supporting tons of families in Mary Kay. I think there's, um, last count, 2,700 um, families or you know, people that work for Mary Kay. So it's them and their families. And I always like to say, and you support the UPS guy because that's the guy deli or gal who delivers you, our stuff. You mean like corporate? Uh-huh, corporate. Mary Kay corporate. You know, R&D, uh, manufacturing, corporate. I mean, everybody who works mm -hmm. to make this possible for the people who are consultants at Mary Kay. So I always like to tell people when you buy, you're buying from the consultant and the products are made here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty darn exciting. I like it. Very good. Okay, there's one more. And by the way, it does smell very florally and woody. Yeah. You know, like walking through a forest with flowers everywhere. And it smells good. Do you yeah. like it? Yay! <laughs> we have one more. Oh, and you know what? I never told you guys how much the prices are, but we can do that real quick. The last one. Nope, that's not it. Actually, I'm not going to do that one. Oh. That was a limited edition one, and I was going to do it. But I, I doubt any of the consultants on will know what that one is. But they'll know what this one is. This one is called... Oh, so cute. It was limited edition. Some of us still have it. If your consultant has it, check with your consultant. But since I still have it, I thought, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just show people everything. 
So the top oh, notes, God. it was limited edition. Oh, take it apart. Oh, show how it works. How cute is that? What? <laughs> so um, it has, it's a, it's kind of a youthful fragrance. So it's got juicy pear, sweet almond blossom, Italian bergamot, and neroli is the top notes. The middle note is Phrygia, pink peony, Pino, say it for me. Peony. Peony, daisy, and cyclamen. Cyclamen. I know. I know what that flower looks like. I just couldn't say it. It's the upside down flower. Yeah. And then marshmallow musk, cedarwood, and sandalwood. So it's real woodsy smelling too, but it's um, the bottom note. So that's the one that stays. So there we go. Did you spray? I haven't yet. Okay. Because you stole it from me. I did. It's so cute. It's going to smell really good down here in the training center. Can you smell it? Mm -hmm. You tell? A little bit more subtle. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but we're good. We'll let him make it up as he goes along. How's that sound? Do you guys like that idea? Oh, look, there's some people. Hi, Vicky. Popped in to say hi. Come to see. Wow, we got a whole bunch of things. I've been slacking. He's been time. slacking. So we're going to go see who it else says. Okay. I usually they roll up, but they don't. So, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'll just tell you guys real quick in case uh, any of the guests are on and they're interested. Um, the oh so cute I just showed you was 36. The, I'll just go backwards. So the Enchanted Wish is 36. The, both of the Thinking perfumes are 32. The Live Fearlessly is 44, and it's a big, bigger bottle, too. And then the Cityscape is 50, and the Forever Diamonds is 40. So I haven't been really telling you guys that in other ones, so that'd be really good. Okay, so before we go on to our little bit of training, a little bit of fun stuff that I always like to do with you guys, I'm going to show you something really cool. And um, you guys probably going to think it's like a little out there, but that's okay, because it works. And if you show people this, they'll go, wow. So, all right. So I want you to pick, uh, I'm going to do this one. You pick one you like that you thought smelled good. Yes. I'm going to make you put on perfume. Mm. We're going to do a real fun little thing. You're making fun of perfume. Yeah. Well, in, well, unless you want to. Okay. That's all right. all right. Pick another one. All right. And I'm going to pick, actually, I'm going to pick the one I didn't show you because we don't have any more. And. I only had one and I didn't really like it. All right. Don't tell anybody. Once in a while, we have a perfume I don't like. Normally I do. All right. So I'm going to take one and spray it right here. Don't make it too wet. Isn't he a good guy for doing this? I think I'll keep him. What do you guys think? Should I keep him? Okay. okay. So you put which one on that one? That was the... Uh... Live fearlessly. Okay. All right. So I put the discontinued one. I'm going to do Enchanted Wish on this side. So spray the other one on the other side. So I've got Enchanted Wish on this side and the discontinued one on this side. And I have Live Fearlessly on the left and Forever Diamonds on the right. And it, and it, th there's a reason why I didn't like the other one. And I'll, I'll tell you why when we do this. Okay. So we're going to let this dry. Let's see. It's dry. Okay, please don't think this is weird, but it works. So you take your tongue. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> now I know I've already done it with this one with this, so I know it's okay. So you just kind of put your tongue on it. Okay. And if it doesn't taste bitter or if it tastes sweet, it's reacting positively to your chemistry. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that off camera. <laughs> Steve does not want to lick his arm. <laughs> and you just do it this way. No one sees you. Okay, now I'm going to lick the other one. And immediately, oh yeah, that one, and this is why I didn't like it, because it didn't, I mean, other people loved it, but on me, it's bitter. So if you put perfume on and you're kind of like, well, I'm not sure if this really works with me. Does this, does this smell good on me? Uh, and you do the tongue test on it and it's bitter it's reacting bad to your skin. 
your body's going, <laughs> please don't wear that. Well, I definitely had mixed results. The uh, Live Fearlessly. Actually, oh, you did it off screen. <laughs> I thought you were going to do it after. Yeah. It tasted good. Yeah. yeah. Well, it tasted really better. It didn't taste bitter. Yeah. But do you see what I'm saying? Well, the Forever Die was on the other hand. It definitely left a bad taste. For yeah. So you can, yeah, I mean, you can tell I made that face like that. Bed. <laughs> so, but it is a crazy test. A perfumer taught me that years and years ago. And uh, I had to test it right there too. Cause I'm like, really? So if you have a customer or if you're a customer and you're not sure which one to, that really works after you put it on, try that and see what you think. Okay. Did you guys learn something new today? So I had no idea. You had no idea. So fun, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So because we're doing perfumes today, are this are the little ones back there? Yes, they are. Okay. Grab those. First, we're gonna do. I do. I've been doing weekly challenges, and um, like I said, you got a little bit of a prize. So, but today, the challenge is. You ready? Today, I want you to pretend your brain and your soul are two different entities. What exactly do I mean by this? When you're faced with decisions, I want you to acknowledge what your brain is telling you to do versus what your heart is telling you to do. So many times we think with our heads when our heart is trying to lead us the right way. What decision, so this is your challenge, this is your, um, and when you're done with it, put done, in the comments, okay? What is a decision that you need to make or made in the past that your heart and your head had different opinions on? And then what were those opinions? So, and we can talk more about that, but it just kind of makes you start thinking about, you know, your heart and, and your, your head that, you know, they think different ways and sometimes they're not in sync. So um, anyway. That was the challenge for today. That sounds very challenging. Yeah. <laughs> you, could, you could even have a conversation with yourself. You could. You really could. Yeah. So, are you pulling up the uh, random? I thought I'd be ready, yeah. Yeah. I'm it's on my phone. I'm in the air on there. So, um, sorry, I don't, I don't want to interrupt you. 98. We have 98. Okay. So, what we're going to do today, I'm actually going to go ahead. And um, I'm going to go ahead and pick three. And the winner today, I have these really cute minis of Thinking of You, Bolera, and Bella Bolera. Okay. Aren't they cute? These little little travel size. And in fact, I carry, I have one of these with me whenever we travel. So I'm gonna, we're going to pick three numbers. And I actually have multiples. I have like two or three of each of those. So the one who wins is going to get, I will mail you one of those. Or if you're local, I'll drop it off. Okay. And um, where everybody who watches this, all the July ones, uh, we have a really, really cool crystal from our crystal digging from last weekend. Selenite crystal. Selenite crystal. And if you want to see what that looks like, go watch the video. Go watch the video because we showed them, all three of them, the, the best ones that we found. Uh, it was probably, it sounds really weird, but it's probably one of the funnest things I've done in a long time. So uh, it's hot, but I got to tell you, it was really cool digging these out of the ground and seeing them. So you got it? I'm ready whenever you are. All right. So what are we going to do? We, um, I'm going to let them pick. They just have to, they just, you just have to message me if you want the pink, which is the Bella Bolera, the Bolera, um, or the thinking I of you. A problem with that. I have more than this. Just those three. Oh, okay. Yeah. He wasn't like, listening. Because was, was he was looking at the random number okay. generator. You got to figure it out. I'm just making sure. He doesn't know, but I usually have it all figured out. Okay. Yeah. Well, sounds good. All right. Let's go on this. Ready? <laughs> All right. All right. We have one to 98. So he's going to hit the button. I'm just going to write them down. First one is number 80. Number 80. Show, the, show the screen. Number 80. All right. Well, I'm not going to tell you who that is yet. Okay. Hit it again. 42. Number 42. One more. 54. 54. Okay. All right. Let's see who that is. Three, right? three, yep. Two. I'm doing three. So let's go to number 80 first. 
Connie Rogers. Connie, you just want a free travel size Mary Kay perfume. Yum. And then 42. Ha <laughs> ha. Stephanie Townsend. <laughs> Stephanie, you just won one. I, I already know which one she wants. And then the last one was 54. 54. Natalie Triplet. 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 Natalie. Yay. Natalie. So hopefully you jump on. So what I need you to do, um, Karen, I don't know if Natalie is has had a chance or she's going to jump on, but text her and just tell her to watch Girlfriends and she'll know why at the end. And I want every person uh, that won, put in the comments which one you want, and we'll give that out to you. And I'm um, super excited. This is so cool. I love doing this. Like I said, next month, our drawing is going to be something like really cool that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else in the world. Are we doing a Christmas one too? Or is that not today. That's next month. That's next month. Oh. That's, that's next month. So, um, well, then definitely get on as many times as you can. And yeah. And when you, um, oh, one more thing. Uh, from what I read, write in the comments what your favorite perfume was too from from the ingredients and uh those of you who are customers and our girlfriends uh we'll make sure you either get a sample of it or we can even spray a cotton ball and put it in a ziploc and get it to you so you can try those okay so you can see how it reacts to you so i hope you guys love this this was really fun for me to put together um i'm loving our girlfriend's time and i just hope you guys are loving it too I can't wait to be with my tribe in person when we're allowed to hug again. Yeah, check on your hugging friends because we're not okay. We're not right. okay. I'm going to make up for it. Yeah, he's been, been doing really good, but we're not okay. We need the hugs. So, um, and I love doing this for you guys and I love spending time with you. So, um, you know, text me questions, Facebook be nice. Aw, thanks, Carrie. So, <laughs> We are. <laughs> I, oh, I did have something fun. All right, one more fun thing, and then I promise we'll go. All right, I need to know. I need your opinion. Which earrings do you like better, the longer ones or the shorter ones? This is what I'm going to wear with my wedding dress. Steve and I are getting married August 6th up in Estes. So give me your opinion. Just long or short. You can put that in the comments too. All right. All right. We're done for today. Thank you. And next week I've got another fun one planned. And uh, if you guys have special ones that you guys would absolutely love to learn about, let me know if there's like certain lotions, certain, you know, we haven't really done one on all our lotions, body, you know, our body products. We can do that. Um, but I already have something planned for next week. So, but put comments in there. So thank you and love you guys. Until next week. Take care. Bye.